Hey Air Signs, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little random message reading. Uh, this is for Air Signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, so we'll just see what comes up here. And we'll go with it. We'll see what messages come up for you. All right, let's see what we got. Self-promoting. Okay, so... You know, this can be this could be within a connection, within a relationship. Um, somebody here might feel like they have to almost promote themselves in order for the other person to notice them in some way. I don't feel like that's the case, um, but I feel like that's what that's what somebody thinks. Somebody thinks that they're not being noticed. Okay, this might be you, this might be your person. They feel like they're not being noticed. And, you know, somebody might be giving the other person the cold shoulder. Somebody might be blocking. But I don't feel like, I feel like somebody is trying to give that impression, but it's not true. So what do we have here? Devil. Someone's being a little devil. Card of Capricorn, you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, but yeah, I feel like either you or your person, and I'm usually coming from your person's perspective when I do these readings. Um, I feel like there's this energy of this person feeling like you are not noticing them. They might be trying to be a little bit sneaky as to how they get you to notice them. It might be on social media, but I feel like there's definitely this big energy of desire from this person because the devil's here. There's a desire for you to notice them. There's a desire for, for them to be with you. What else do we have here for self-promoting? Okay, the hanged woman or the hangman, depending. It's like this energy feels very uh, out of control. It feels very much like I can't get myself down from here. I can't get myself down from this tree. I'm hung up. You know, I'm forced to wait for somebody else to do something or unblock me or it's like I'm hung up in this. I'm hung up in this desire and I feel like I have to promote myself in a positive way. What else? King of Wands. Okay, so you might be dealing with an Aries specifically or a Capricorn. But Queen of Wands, it's like this person is trying to put on their, you know, their Sunday best. They're trying to have you see them as the best version of who they are. Maybe they didn't show that to you in the past and they want to make sure that you know who they really are, how special they are, how attractive they are. They might be posting things on social media that they hope you see. They might be they might be posting pictures. They might be, I, I just feel like they're trying to get your attention and they feel very out of control and hung up with this energy of a lot of desire towards you. So let's get a message from this person. What would this person say about this situation? I'm embarrassed by my life right now. Interesting. They might be embarrassed that they're, they're possibly blocked by you right now. They might be embarrassed that, you know, that they have to almost beg for your attention. They're embarrassed by their behavior in some way, okay? And they don't feel proud of it. They don't feel proud of the fact that they aren't being noticed by you or they think they're not being noticed by you. Um, 
It almost feels like they feel a little bit tortured right now. So let's see what we have here. Understand. So there's something that maybe this person needs to understand when it comes to you, or there might be a growing understanding that they have about the situation. Let's see what understand is about. Lovers. Card of Gemini. Gemini, that's you. So they're trying to understand a connection or an attraction. I feel like this person would describe themselves as not ever being somebody that chases. And I feel like they're in the energy of chasing you, whether you realize it or not. They might be hiding the fact that they're trying to promote themselves, trying to make you see how beautiful or handsome or attractive they are. And they feel so hung up in this energy and they're embarrassed by it. But they are trying to understand the connection between the, the two of you. They're trying to understand why this attraction is so consuming for them. What else do we have? Six of Pentacles. This person is trying to understand also if your energy is split. Do you spend any time thinking about them? Are you giving yourself to somebody else. I don't feel like they know. They're trying to figure out if your energy is split, if there's even an opportunity here to embrace the connection or the attraction, or, you know, are they missing the boat completely? High Priestess. I feel like there's information that this person just doesn't know, doesn't understand, you might be keeping information from them. You might be, again, you might be blocking them, but they are trying desperately to understand what is going on primarily with you and with the connection. I feel like they're asking, does this attraction, connection, is it mutual? Does it even exist? I don't feel like they know. When you hug me, it was electric. So I feel like you guys might have had a moment or a hug or an embrace where, you know, it, it like sent this person over the moon. You might not have known the effect that you had on this person. This could be the last time that you hugged them goodbye or you hugged them for some reason and it literally sent shockwaves, you know, through them. And they're trying to understand. They're trying to understand why they're feeling this, this chemistry with you. You know, there might not have been any real conversation about there being a potential relationship or connection here. So they feel maybe embarrassed by that. Like, am I making a complete fool of myself here or what? What do we have here? Ooh, we have a text. All right, so this might be a text that is coming from this person or a text that maybe somebody sent in the past. What is this text about? Four of Wands. Hmm. Somebody might have shared their intentions. They might have shared their intentions with you. It might have been completely out of the blue. This might be a friend that has accidentally fallen in love with you. Uh, they might have shared a text that freaked you out a little bit or made you question what their motives, what their intentions were towards you. Because it feels like the two of you might have had some type of relationship that wasn't romantic and somebody fell for the other person and might have had might have admitted it through text. What else do we have here? Yeah, it was unexpected. 
And if this is something that's coming, it's going to be very unexpected. And I feel like it's going to be an admittance of feelings beyond professional or friendship. It feels like that is coming. What else do we have? Judgment. So for some of you, this could be a reconciliation with this person that's initiated by a text. For some of you, uh, it could be a rebirth to a relationship that you already had established that kind of went away because it made somebody feel uncomfortable in some way. But either way, it feels like it's getting ready to return. Somebody might get a burst of courage and they send a text. So what's the final message here when it comes to this text? Telepathic communication. So telepathic communication certainly isn't a text. This person might chicken out on a text or if they send a text, they might be feeling some type of telepathic communication. You guys might be connecting in your dreams in some way. Something has this person very, very wrapped up in what is going on between the two of you. They're trying to understand. They're trying to be noticed by you. Um, they, they might have sent a text to you that was unanswered by you. It just feels like this person has an overwhelming desire to, first of all, clarify if this is even a thing for you. Is this even a connection to you? Or is it, you know, should this person, I, I don't ever feel somebody should be embarrassed for having feelings, but... If you know that you don't have feelings for this person, it's probably best not to let them hang, okay? Not to let them be in that hanged woman energy or hanged man energy. You might be confused by this as well and you're trying to figure out yourself what you want to do or not do with this person. It might have really caught you off guard. All right. All right. Air signs. That is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, definitely reach out to me. If not, no worries. All right. I will talk to you next time. All right. Bye.